So if you've logged into our QSIS Reflect Enterprise Manager dashboard before, this view is probably fairly familiar to you. What we have here is a bird's eye view of our entire system that we've set up here at ISE. We've got all of our rooms broken down by cores. Remember that a core makes up a system, a system makes up a site, and a site makes up an organization. You can then go through and invite people in to either view or administer by site, system, or organization. But we don't just want to see our systems at a glance. We want to be able to garner more information while we're remotely accessing our cores. So we can even drill in and find things like the event log. We can see items that have happened inside the core while we've been using it. We can even go so far as to remotely access user control interfaces that we have set up just for diagnostics and help. These don't just have to be forward-facing UCIs. These can be ones that were made specifically to help us diagnose issues that might come up. If you'll recall, earlier in the presentation, we had triggered a help request for audio when we were in the Microsoft Teams room. Well, by using this remotely accessible UCI, we can actually go through and send a response back to the touch panel in the room, creating a sort of two-way communication and letting our user know the status of their request. But how did we get that help request? When we triggered that request off the panel, we also posted a, a webhook into a Microsoft Teams channel. What this did is this let us know that we needed audio assistance from our collaboration room. Not only do we know that we need the assistance, but we've provided some links for both the system status and a direct link to that core's user control interfaces. This allows us to go through, we can pull up that request, see what the issue may be, and send a response back into the room. Lastly, many of our users integrate with a data aggregation system such as ServiceNow. Thanks to our partners at Volteo, we now have a fully functioning plugin allowing us to see core and peripheral status as well as real-time activity streams right from your existing ServiceNow dashboard. Even if you don't use ServiceNow, if you use another vendor or perhaps have an in-house aggregation service, the greatest thing about QSIS Reflect Enterprise Manager is that there is a fully open and documented API. So from any source, you can go through and access this information. So that wraps up a little bit about how we can remotely monitor and manage our systems. 